All right, well, welcome back to Millbrook. We were out here yesterday. I have to turn around because I lost my cell phone. We're actually out during the eclipse. Started going out. And, uh, so anyways, turn around because I lost my cell phone. And it's up that I left my cell phone on my vehicle somewhere. And it was, fell off on the road and got driven over a bunch of times because she's pretty shattered up. So, I'm without a cell phone, but, but uh, I would come check out Millbrook here. I know a bunch of people have been riding on the top end saying it's great up there. I'm starting at the low end. I know one route might be a little a little wet in one spot, but I think uh, other riders have been through here. So a little, a little wet through here. Not absolutely terrible though. I've seen it worse during the main season. The lower parking lot's open in Millbrook, so it's nice to park down that parking lot. Ponds are looking good and full fish jumping Let's see how well I can climb oh a little wet through here a little hard on gear there alright I'm going climb up here Supposed to be meeting a friend here. I'm not quite sure where she is. Vanilli for a little tour here. First time since snow. A little bit of root gathering on my spokes. I'll we'll stop and get that later. Oh, I lost my momentum. <laughs> oh. We'll stop at the other end and be catch your breath and de twig our via bike. Ooh.
Oh, this cedar's got a little bit more of a lean. <sighs> that one there, just waiting to fall. There we go. Lost the twig. So we're going up High Plains Drifter here. Supposedly there's a couple muddy spots. Oh well, it's nice to get out for a ride by myself. <laughs> I'm used to doing this in the fat bike. Here's one of the soft spots. Doesn't look like there's a wind on either on the trail on either way. Now, oh. Let the roll catch my breath. Woohoo! Oh, I love these rides. Oh, yeah. Here's one of the wet spots right here. I'm gonna take it high. Avoid that main wet spot. I come here biking first time and you know that's not gravel. You know, and since fat biking. But I've had to walk way more than I normally do. I'm so frustrated. So, so frustrated. I don't even feel competent to do this simple jump that I normally do. And my shocks aren't even working right because I'm too fucking heavy for them. You know, friend, she said meet me up top. But I'm mad because I hope, I hope she's not waiting because I'm way late. All because I'm too fat. 
if I can make it up the hill. I want to, I want to scream someone help me, but no one can help me. I can only help myself. But how do I do that? I've lost all motivation. I'm done. I don't walk. And it's not like I can even message my friend. I'm up top. Because I've broken my cell phone. Maybe I am too old for this type of mountain buggy. I don't know. I like this type of mountain biking though. Oh. I'm gonna go around and do the itch, drop in the trench, and we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Definitely need some tree cleanup done. I'm sure the club will, will eventually get used to it. I didn't get to do it. Oh yeah. Feel the wind. That's what I love for. Love it. Love it. Hey, we got. Another tree down on the edge. So we got a couple trees. Yeah, I'm pretty frustrated with myself. I don't mean to sound like I'm pity partying folks. I'm just, I don't know what to fucking do. I don't know what, how to get myself out of this deep, deep hole I'm in. I'm supposed to do the epic eight hour in July. At this point, I'm thinking of pulling the plug on that. Uh. 
I don't know. Oh. Just thinking on it. I guess if I came out biking, my body would readapt. I guess the trick is just to force myself to get my ass out. And I guess it doesn't have to be a long ride. It just has to be a ride to get the body moving, get the heartbeat going. <laughs> I guess the other thing I can do, like next four days it's supposed to rain. You know. Oh. Oh. So, you know, what do I do? The trails are gonna be too fast. It's gonna be another five, six days to the trails dry out enough that I can get back on them. That's the old guy, he's a good guy. I like him. He's usually got his headphones in, plucking away. I'll go up here. Well, I when the first time I came by here, I was thankful you were not waiting for me. Why? Because you're stuck with a little bit of air. I am so fucking slow. I've gained 50 pounds over the winter. Oh really? I am so fucking slow and right now I'm so fucking oh, frustrated. Yeah. Just frustrated with myself. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I feel ya. And I'm like, I hope they're not up there waiting because you know I had to stop, I had to, you know, steal oxygen from worms. That's okay. Right? <laughs> I've had to make Jackson stop like five times already. It's all good. I'm right there with you. Well, you hey, this is my first time down this with no snow on this year. Love Dredge Town. You can go ahead. It was just a minor wipeout. We're good. Oh, no. <sighs> 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 Sorry. 
Uh, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> uh, whew. And it was stupid. My foot slipped off my pedal. <sighs> oh, yeah. Hey, I made it over those rocks. First jump of the year. <sighs> that was the first jump of the year. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> What's that? I said, me too, and then I said, that's a lie, I jumped the other day. <sighs> Right there, there. <sighs> Made it up that climb. Love it. All right, we are going back to the truck. Off right there.
Hey, something's happened here. far I'd like to uh, thank you for watching and uh, uh, you know please like and subscribe and if you want to see more videos because uh, it helps the channel a bit and we will talk to you soon so thanks again for watching see you soon hmm.